Here she is. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. Hi, Baba. Was she good with Steve? Yeah, she good. he had a doing um, obstacles. Oh, good. And uh, up and down. Good. And he's found when on a street, a main street, there's trees. So he does his figure of eight. Good. Beautiful. That's what we want. And then that's how you'll maintain the, the loose lead work. A lot of people don't bother doing that, you see. So for the video, we've just stuck a prong collar on uh, Erin. More for her owner than Erin. Um, because she's still pulling a little bit. She, she's doing better than last oh, week, yeah. isn't she? Um, but it's more to give her own confidence because I know while she's still pulling a little bit when there's nothing coming, I know she's going to start pulling and probably lunging back and do whatever she's going to do when we pass the dog. So I've just put the prong collar on so her owner's and her and they're just getting used to it. So does it feel different already? Do you feel she's walking better? Or? Yeah, she is. She's a lot better. Yeah. Good girl, aren't you? Like I say, it just builds your confidence as well because instead of you tensing up when you see people, you, once you got used to it, you're going to have the confidence then of, well, she's not going to do anything anyway. No. So it just helps you. And then once you gain confidence and she's doing really well, in a couple of months, you can take it off and try back on the control yeah. collar again. It's just to give, give you confidence more than anything. I'm just videoing because this is what she did and I found it really weird. So she's telling the dog to wait, but she's then moving forward and moving the dog forward with her. So that wait. weight is not what I would say it as. So I want you to do it again and just come through. Don't tell her anything. Don't, if she goes to go through in front of you, just give a little pop up. And you're just going to walk through as though you would if she wasn't with you. Perfect. And again. Just go. Now just be careful you don't apply tension. You didn't, but you nearly did. Long lead. Go. She's like, why? Well, hang on, we've just gone through three times. <laughs> yeah, just watch. That's the only bad thing she does. She changes side. But go again. Much better. Yeah. Bit slow in the video there. She back because there's some people and dogs just around the corner. She back and you see from her body like keep going. From body language, look, she put a hackle, look, she's very uncertain. So you're going to correct either across the front of you, perfect, or upwards, if she um, starts to change pace or back. That's it. So she wanted to stop and look at the dog, and her owner said, no, you're going to keep walking. And never, ever let her change pace. We don't mind her looking, we no. do mind her staring. But she was so on steps, if she's trying to rush, just simply stop and give that little correction good she's conditioned to sit when you stop which is nice but that's like in this incident not necessarily what we wanted to do and on this don't let her jump in front of you good just because we can't see what's coming so she can't be in front telling us good so again on the steps if she rushes or if she sees this person and decides to back so you see how you're letting her stop and look oh. don't because you basically, you, you, she was that little bit in front, so you being that little bit behind, basically saying to her, you deal with it. So we're never going to let her deal with anything. You're always going to deal with it. No worries. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you see how easy it was to correct her. Yeah. So I video because I didn't know if she reacted at bikes. Um, um, and Hillary was just saying no, uh, she doesn't, she and did. then she did, so yes, she does. So we'll use this dog. This is one of my old clients as well. We use this dog as a guinea pig if you want to right. walk past. Yeah. So you're literally just going to walk past. Right. Keep, just walk in a straight line. We're using you as a guinea pig. <laughs> so correct that. Stop if you have to to pull up. So she's re just reactive, thank you much. Good, good. good. You girl. did all right then. How did that feel? All right. What would she normally have done? Oh, she'd have gone more. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what I thought she would do, which is why I thought you're going to be easier on the prong palette. It's going to be easier for you to yeah. manage her on that. I look behind her at the other dog. 
so then you pull forward uh, at the same correction as you would you would do to up or uh, to the side but you do it forward just to snap her out of because what she's trying to do she's trying to stay and the dog behind us is a collie so they're both herding breeds and herding breeds what they do is stare at things <laughs> so if that looks at her she's going to accept that as a challenge and you got your reaction so we don't want to do that we want to just to keep on walking but she has done and you did well you're a good girl you've been a good girl then i'll have to be careful because she'll tip me on with you right so keep her on the short lead so apparently she reacts for the video she reacts to ducks and that so we're coming for some ducks in the heron I'm going to drop a little bit behind so I can see. Yeah. You keep going, but just so I can see fully what she does if she's going to do anything. She's done all right, isn't she? Is it just when they fly? I think so. Right, let's yeah. find out then. <laughs> Always want to push boundaries. So I'm chucking some biscuits to the ducks to get them. Once I realise I've got some, they'll come over to see Erin's reaction. These little guys, oh there we go. So when she looks, make sure there's no tension on the lead. So if she pulls, you just give a little flick to say you can't pull. You can look, but you can't pull. These are your biscuits, Erin, that I'm slinging. <laughs> so this is how they find out about things but again everything has to be done in a nice relaxed manner so any tension you correct good tail starting to wag so she's starting to kick up so yeah she can't stand up on her back legs good And then we walk on. We always finish on a positive. So the positive is she's just sat there looking at them. She did good there. Yeah, good girl. We've got a person and dog coming. So it, this is like your widest part. So now this is where you can put her in a sit and make sure you're stood more in front than what you are. You don't have to block. Don't do that because she's just going to look around you. So make her sit good. This dog will bark, probably. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so pull up and relax. Thank you. Thank you. And then walk forward. As soon as they pass. So how was that for you? I let you it kind of deal with that yourself. It weren't as bad as I thought. No. And was she easier to control? Yep. So she correct this where she's still pulling after they've gone past. This is why it's important they can't pull before, during or after. Basically, at any time they cannot pull. So before, if, we, if she wasn't on the prong, I think you'd have struggled even on the yeah. control collar. So you're pleased with that? Yep. Good. Probably I'm more relaxed as well. Yes. Well, like I said, that's why I thought the prong is going to help you because she doesn't need it per se but it's really going to help you to get your confidence. So I'll show you a, a game that you can play. I think we did it. I can't remember what, where I'm up to. Uh, yeah. So with the, with the treats. So this one is more of um, almost getting you into your scent work. Erin. So I'm going to make it easy. So I just chucked it. But you see how it's in the grass? So she has to search more for it. Say I've got some as well. Yeah, yeah. So as you chuck it, see she's watching you, as you chuck it, say ready, I'll get it, or whatever. And you're gonna chuck it just past her, and because we're working in grass, she has to really use a nose. Ready? That's too easy that. Yeah, <laughs> Go again. Ready. Yes, yeah, she has. But oh, this is where yeah. she she will find it. This is where she really has to use a nose. So this is part of Ready? like your scent work, oh. but we'll do proper scent work with her when um, Steve's with oh. us if she wants. Other side. She'll find it. And look at her tail then, she was like, oh my God, where is it? But this really mentally tires them. 
What we're going to start doing now, see how she's coming back to you? We're going to start calling her back and paying her when she comes back because this is going to build up our recall. So what we're doing here, we're building up attention to you. So focus work on you and as well Hi. as doing a bit of the scent. So for the video, I don't know if I said it, but uh, she's not clipped on a prong collar while we do this work. She's clipped on the flat collar and the uh, control collar, which are both on the strongest part of her neck. You never clip um, a long line or flex a lead or anything to a prong collar. It's, it's just no point. Watch how speedy the call is. Good girl. Beautiful. Good girl. Ready. Go. So we tried her with a toy, but she's not interested in toys, so we have to build her up to that, but she's doing well with the treats. So if she's on dry food, you can use her food instead of putting it in the bowl, bring it on walks. Love that re recall, that's fabulous, that, nice and speedy. Yeah. 